Here in this question, it says a line intersect two concentric circles. Concentric circles are two circles. As you can see, this is one circle and this being the other circle. These two circles have the same center. Like two concentric circles are the circles with same center and has to be of different radii. Further, it says there is a line that is, uh, you can see here, this line is intersecting at the circle at three point, that is A, B, C, and D. What we have to prove here, let's see, it says prove that AB is equal to CD. We have to prove AB is equal to CD. That means this length AB should be equal to CD. For that, we are going to use this property that uh, perpendicular from the center of the circle bisects the chord. So first we are going to draw a perpendicular, say from the center on this line AD. Say I named it as AM. So AM is, OM is perpendicular to this line and our line is ABCD or you can name it AD. So first I'm going to consider this outer circle, look into this outer circle and we can take this as AD as a chord of this circle. Now what we know that since OM is perpendicular to AD and we know that perpendicular drawn from the center bisects the chord, that means this part, this part, by that it, I mean to say this part that is AM should be equal to DM. So we'll be writing AM is equal to DM and we'll write this as the reason and mark this as equation one. Now when you consider this smaller circle, when you consider say this smaller circle, I'm talking about this circle. For this also, you can see that BC is nothing but a chord here, right? BC is a chord and perpendicular is OM again. So we can write here that OM is perpendicular to BC. So therefore, we can write perpendicular using the same property, perpendicular drawn from the center bisects the chord. So BM should be equal to CM, that is, BM is equal to CM. Now this is equation 2. On subtracting, we are going to subtract the second from the first. So what we'll be writing, in the first we have AM and in the second we have BM. So AM minus BM is equal to DM minus CM. So what is AM minus DM? As you can see, from this AM, if you subtract BM, you are going to get AB, right? On this side, AB. Similarly, on the other side, from DM, if you subtract CM, you are going to get CD. CD, oh, this is AB, sorry. This is not AM. As you can see, AM minus BM is AB, right? So we got this as AB is equal to CD and that is what we need to prove in this question.